So I have a set of sample swatches here, and this could be brand colors that you want to share with your client or colors that you want to put into a color guide or share with a colleague that's going to work on the same design. And I'll just go ahead and select all of these. And over here in my swatches panel, there's a button at the bottom called new swatch group. I'm just going to click on that. And you'll want to make sure that convert process to global is unchecked and include swatches for tints is unchecked. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And now we have a brand new swatch group with these colors. I'm going to delete the initial swatches and we'll just work with the swatch group that we have here. The first trick I want to show you is brand new to Illustrator 2025. If you click on the folder to select the whole swatch group and go up here to your drop down menu in the swatches panel, you'll see a new option called Create Swatch Info. If we click on that, it'll bring up a few options for us. I'm going to leave all of these at default just to show you how it works, but you can change the size that the swatches show up and you can check and uncheck these options depending on which types of color info you want to share. And you can switch the stacking from vertical to horizontal and adjust the spacing if you'd like. I'll go ahead and click Create to show you what this does. And that gives us this beautiful set of color info that we can add to a brand guide or share just as is with anyone else who needs to work with these colors. This is all just live text, so you can, of course, change the font if you want to make it the brand font or anything else to make it look a little prettier before you share. But this is a really handy feature that previously needed a custom script, and now you can just do this right in Illustrator.